So I'm over here on the lance leg, and I'm going to use the taper attachment again, and I'm going to set it up in a little different fashion. So for a Morris taper number three taper, you have out of the machiner's handbook, it's 0 0.05019 inches per inch of taper, or it's 0 0.60235 inches per foot. So what I did is, is I just uh, divided this out for, now that's total taper. Um, so what I did is I divided that by two for six inches. Then I divided it by two again for half the distance. So I end up with, so that's a point three zero one two. It's one one seven five. So three zero one one two for six inches, and then divide that by two. It's point one five zero six for six inches. If you're just measuring one side of it, you know, because we're going to turn it, right? So this bar I have in, I made a long time ago, and so I, I marked off, I, you know, uh, took a Sharpie, marked it off, and for six inches, and I measured this with using a dial indicator on the ways. So it's, you know, fairly accurate, uh, easily within a thousandth or, or so. So. We're going to measure right so at the diameters at this so that's at zero 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 and this bar is actually pretty good even though I turned it on lathe to make it a test bar it's zero 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 the bar has you know, for between those two marks at least zero taper so that's that's a you need something pretty good or you need to know what it is so we're we're looking for 0 0.1506 from mark to mark. So what I'm going to do is here, so I bring it down, so I have a dial indicator set up on my tool post, and I have a dial indicator on the ways for my six inch mark. So I come back, get my backlash out, and I come to the same spot. Each time I'm measuring, I start at the same spot. I have my dial on my um, apron hand wheel set at zero and at zero and then I make sure my dial indicator and it's on zero then we come down six inches here get this all right come down six inches and I read the dial indicator I didn't do that. Come there. And let's see. Here. There we go. Six inches. And I'm reading now uh, 151 thousandths. Now I do it a couple times because just to make sure. And I'm. Right, right, zero. Fifty-one. So 
I'm not going to change it. it. The first couple times I did, it was a little less than 151, you know, a few tens. But it's coming up right on 151 each time. And when we round it off the number to three places, it is 151. So I'm going to call that good uh, for what it's going to be used for. It's, um, that will be uh, plenty of good of tolerance if we can get it to be cut in that range. So this is just another method of uh, setting up your taper attachment. Um, Got to have a good straight bar. And, uh, uh, you know, we're set up between the turning the centers just so because we're going to take this piece out and put in the work piece. We're not going to change anything. And this is the setup. So my and I know my bar is straight. So uh, and I'm getting the readings calculated out that I should get. So we're going to cut it with that and uh, cross our fingers a little bit. <laughs> you always cross your fingers when you do this with a tapering attachment. I don't have a lot of uh, material to remove, so I want to get it right uh, really close here. If I have to adjust it, I will, but I want it to be really close. So I've got you zoomed in here. Here's a, again the drawing of what we're doing. So I've already drilled and tapped this. Now there's an extension piece on here that will get cut off and it gives us for some clearance. And this is the Morris 3 number taper we're going to cut. And I have made a gauge. Now the gauge is 0.938 on the, the blue end here. And at the gauge line, this is not really the gauge line. I do, this is just a dimension line, but that's about where the gauge line is, is on the taper. And it's 3 and a 16th from the end. 3.0625 should be 938. That's what you're shooting for on a Morris taper number 3. And I'll be able to, so here's my setup. I got this in here. And I'll be able to take that back off the live center and I'll be able to slip that over it. Now I've drawn two lines. This is approximately about where the gauge line is going to be and this one is, is the end of the taper. And you should be able to slip that up there and that's about where it should end. Uh, it's 197 thousandths uh, technically from between the two lines. Uh, but I just, they're just approximate with the sharpie. So uh, that's uh, about where it should be. Uh, you could have it clear down here. But I want it to be about there because of how it fits in the uh, rotary table uh, there's the there's not a lot of room up there at the top I don't want this sticking above the top of the rotary table because when I screw on my adapters then I put on my chucks I want those chucks to be able to come down tight uh, on the table of the rotary table so that is a gauge I made and you've seen the drawing now uh, I've, I've got it all set up and uh, we're uh, actually ready to cut Okay, so we're ready to cut. I'm always going. I'm going to cut in this direction all the time. So it'd be helpful if I set the lathe for that. Yeah. And I'm cutting in that direction. So I do it consistently, and that's how I was measuring it, and everything looks really good, and giving myself plenty of room ahead of the cut to uh, get backlash out of things. I think I've got a, uh, and I'm going to feed it in with my compound.
feeding it kind of slow and just kind of taking it easy and see how things look here. Good color there. Calipers. Oh, they're sitting right over there. Too. Perfect finish. Got a lot going on in the shop today. My son's rebuilding the shock for his motorcycle. How's it going, Trav? Going good, he says. He's grunting over there. I'm only doing about 10 thousandths at a time. Next cut's going to put us up there pretty close to that gauge line. Small end of the taper should be about 784 is what I'm looking for on the small end. We'll be able to take it out and test it also. Pretty nice. Get an awful nice finish on it.
won't slide the gauge on there after this cut. Since we've skimmed over the lines now. This end down here is only about six thousand smaller than the finished diameter. That's why I can kind of gauge it where I'm at. Yeah, this end here is about six thousand smaller than the finished diameter of the small end. about 852 and like I said we're looking for 7843 so I'm gonna slip the I'm gonna slip the gauge on just 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 to see how it is See, we're, we're way down, so, you know, we should be clear up here is where the gauge needs to be. I'm going to take about a 5,000th cut this time. cut quite a bit off up here. I have to take uh, 250 thousandths or so off up on the front end, so we should be okay here uh, on having our taper up there. I just put the gauge on. I put a mark about where the gauge should end up and about three quarters of an inch from there, so we're just going to take a couple thousandths and uh, Measure it again. Then I'm going to take it out and we're going to test it. We'll slip it in the, I'll get the rotary table over, we'll slip it in the rotary table. Okay, so the gauge line should approximately be right about there. About three and a sixteenth from the end. So we're going we're gonna to take it out and we're going to even test it, so. Mark my jaw where I, how I, my position is. And let's see here. Oh, so we're getting close. See, so maybe a couple more, two or three more thousands cut should uh, should put us there. But I'm gonna swing the camera around. We're gonna test it just. So here's my rotary table. It's a 10 inch rotary table. Um, a tag fell off of it. I got it with my mill. It's probably a phase two or something similar. There's, there, my, there's, there's my mark where the gauge line should be. Oh, we'll slip it in. And you know, we're about just where my gauge says we are. Right about half an inch from my mark. And that looks about right. A half inch from the top of that taper. And uh, oh, 
I'm gonna say that. You, oh boy, if I push on it, it'll be in there. That there's like no play. It feels oh, it feels very very nice. Uh, we might have uh, done well so far. So we'll take a uh, another couple thousands, I think, and uh, we'll keep we'll keep going with our gauge and. Uh, and from our distance there about three and a sixteenth it can it can vary a little bit it all matters how much you want it in there and i don't want this to be past the end of this taper because i have a bolt and a washer that's going to go on there and act as a draw bar uh pulling that in okay back to lathe okay we're gonna take another two So that's approximate where a gauge should be. See if I can drop it. Uh, we got about three eighths of an inch or so to go. So. couple more. It's pretty bad. Shark tooth. Shark tooth. Yeah, and that all I just measured this lower end. We're at 790. Um, it's an approximate measurement because you can't be right on the edge. 784 is the number there and there's my mark for the three and a sixteenth roughly let's see where we are and we're you know I would say we are there I think I'm probably gonna stop there's I don't know if you can see the mark it's pretty hard uh, it's, it's right on the mark so I think I'm gonna call it good on the taper. We'll slip it, I'll swing your back around, we'll slip it back in the uh, rotary table. So I put a mark uh, approximate where our gauge line should be. I'm gonna slip it in there. It fits just beautiful. I'm just gonna rub it, see if I can get a mark. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's about an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths uh, from there, where it rubbed. But I can see, I can see in there. It's probably yeah, it's probably about an eighth from the end. I could probably take another, another two off of it. Where I was, I was saying it was 790 and it should be 784. I could easily do another two. So we'll do uh, another two cut. See if we can get it almost perfect. Turn it a little bit. The sun's shining in the shop. All right, just I put a mark. If you can see, but I put a mark. Where the gauge should be roughly and I'm just on the gauge I'm just a little bit past 16th or so but I'm kind of looking at this too so you know I want it down in there that depth oh, 
rub it on there. Yep, I'm right there. I'm I'm far enough. And uh actually it, yep, I think I'm good on the end even. Let's see if I can uh mic that. Seven eight five. I was shooting for seven eight four. Well, a little closer to the end, and I got seven eight seven eight thirty six. That's good. Cause we're gonna, we're going to trim this off anyway, right near there, and we're going to be turning. Turning this down uh, for the thread and the shoulder, so we're looking good. Um, let's see the shoulder. The shoulder register shoulder is going to be 875. So we should have. Uh, we'll have uh, that's that's 938 right there. So, oops, 938 right there. Little, and uh, so we'll have plenty. We'll go 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 up from that a little bit, and then the shoulder, and then the threads. So uh, this is the this this was the real super critical part, and it's uh, pretty much completed.